So, Brendan Watt, what, uh, what do you have to say about our part one relationship series that we did? Well, I thought it was funny. And one thing it showed me was, because I always thought, well, Simone does all the talking. She'll like, she'll just talk and talk and talk, and then I'll just add these things in here. And, and for me, what it showed up, what showed up was I had to look at how much that I contribute. Because people were writing, wow, that thing he said was awesome. And I'm like, what? Something that I said? So with relationship, though, as well, one thing you've got to look at is what do you know about relationship? Because like we've said in these things, we don't have it right. I mean, we had this funny thing show up the other night where we were having, this, we were having a chat about money and stuff like that. And we got to this place where we were just about to buck heads. We were just about to argue. And I don't know if you, if you listened to the first call, you would have heard us say, we've never had an argument ever. So we got to this point where it was crunch. It was, we're not going anywhere else unless we start yelling at each other. So we went, okay, this isn't working. Let's just stop. And we changed the subject and we just carried on like best friends, like we always do. So where are you not willing to actually give up your fight in relationship? to actually just lay down your weapons and say, okay, let's start again. That's one of the greatest tools that I've found is just just either say, you know what, you're right, I'm wrong, or we're not going anywhere with this, so what else can we talk about? Where else can we go? Well, we also knew that we had to ask somebody else for more information or ask for more information to show up, so we're willing to do that. So, so we did, and we got more information, and we were like, because one thing I realized is I don't, completely get women and one thing I've noticed with women from talking to a lot of them is they don't really get men so men function different and women function different if you ha if you realize that relationship can be a lot easier as well because you can look at okay well this is the way a woman functions just because that's the case it doesn't mean it's the way I function so how can the way that she functions and the way that I function or the way that he functions and the way I function work for a different possibility for what we're looking at creating together. And what sort of invitation do you think or what can people, you know, what can we play with on part two? Well, that's completely up to you guys. It's completely up to where you want to go with your relationship and what, you know, what it is you want out of a relationship. I know in part one we gave out these different homeworks and to look at what is it you'd like to create your life as because what about if you were, you know, what about after that first series, if you could actually say, well, I'm having a relationship with me now. Because if you've got that with you, a relationship is way easier. If you don't have, with you, if you don't have a relationship with yourself, it can be a little confusing. It's like, okay, well, I can't have this with me, but I'm gonna try and have it with someone else. So look at, okay, what would it be like if I made the demand today to have that relationship with myself, and now what can I create with someone else? So I have no idea what, part two is going to look like. I really don't. It's going to be up to what you guys desire to have out of it. And I'll be here. I'll be here for all of you, whatever it is you ask and whatever it is I know I'm willing to, to give it on up. And I know Simone's the same. So, you know, what would your life be like if you had a relationship that works for you? Not for someone else, not one that you saw growing up, not one that your parents had, not one that your friends say you should have, but one that actually works for you. Okay, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon.